Reverse engineering time. Small security camera I got off AliExpress. Uh, sometimes called the X5. It's worth uh, about four to five dollars, uh, depending on which vendor you find it from. Uh, it goes under a large number of listings. They all look the same, but I noticed on some of the YouTube videos when I was looking at other people who reviewed it, it sometimes points to different applications. I think a, a fair number of vendors take this particular electronics and then wrap some custom software around it. Uh, this isn't a review of that. Uh, the software appears to be very uh, simple. Uh, it has an SD card to record video. It's powered up by USB-C. Uh, and if you download an application on your phone, you can actually use that to view the pictures that the camera is producing because it connects to a network uh, via Wi-Fi. Uh, this video, however, is more of just taking a look at the engineering that goes on to a small camera these days. Um, I suspect this is going to be a really nice modern example. Let's start our journey with the imaging element. Uh, this is the lens on the top here and it's been sonically welded to a very skinny little circuit board here and then there's a flexible uh, cable that goes off the rest of the electronics we'll take a look at in a moment and then it looks like a little bit of um, uh, sponge uh, to uh, keep the vibrations down but if we crack this in half and um, we can then see a lens on the left hand side and then uh, on the right hand side is the actual circuit board if we zoom in a little bit uh, we can see that there is a some sort of semiconductor in the middle here um, and then a, a three decoupling capacitors. If we zoom in a bit more we start to see the actual part number GC0329. Uh, well, that'll be very helpful in a second but while we're here we can see the uh, actual rays in gray and because this is a CMOS imager uh, lots of clever engineering went on to put everything into a single bit of silicon Basically, on the outside of the imager is all of the processing electronics. This chip produces a fairly easy interface for a microprocessor. Sends out a bit stream with a horizontal sync and a vertical sync, which is fairly easily decoded. Um, if you take a sharp pick and scrape at the top, you can see um, there's small imaging pixels below sitting here. Um, and above it is what's known as the Bayer filter. Uh, to create a color sensor, of course, you need to put some sort of filter on top of it. The color, the pixels here aren't sensitive to certain wavelengths. So a Bayer filter is uh, one blue, uh, one red, and two green, uh, named after a fellow uh, Eastman Kodak who invented it. Um, the curiosity of the eye, apparently you want two green. Um, then the right here, I was just curious, I just chipped that right off, right into the uh, silicon die, but uh, I was interested in how they put the, uh, the filter on top of the silicon. It looks like it's fairly adhered in some sort of photolithographic manner because you have seen very sharp registration to make this all work correctly. Now, uh, nice thing about the part numbers, it draws me to what appears to be potentially a data sheet, uh, GC0329, Galaxy Core. Um, but when I look at the actual data sheet, this is a VJ imager, it's a 640 by 480. And when I look at the pictures I got out of the camera, uh, I was only able to get these VGA uh, camera pictures. You see I can zoom in, you see a lot of artifact, which is typical of a you know a modest resolution photograph. And um, the reason of course baffles me of when I bought it, it says a 1080p HD uh, camera. Um, I got my strong suspicions that maybe that is a bit of an exaggeration. If anyone has one of these actually and got in 1080p, we'd certainly like to hear from you, but everything I'm seeing kind of points toward this being potentially more of a VJ imager. Now it is true, you get four, you need four times the pixels, uh, if I guess you're, if you're counting this way in a monochrome way, uh, to create the color image, but traditionally when you said 1080p, you would assume that would be you know 1080p color pixel. So, hmm, the Wild West of AliExpress, I'm wondering if this is uh, simply just a VJ uh, camera. Well, let's continue the journey. This is the main circuit board with all of the uh, rest of the electronics. So, of course, we can see the camera coming into this uh, zip connector here. Sorry, a zip connector. Um, and the star of the show in the middle, a single chip, which looks like it probably does everything. Uh, it basically is a standalone chip with a Wi-Fi interface. So, lots of technology going in there. We'll decap that one in a second. 26 megahertz crystal. Let's see if we can decap that one, see what we can find. There is a microphone down here. Same thing. Let's see if we can see what's inside that package there. Uh, a, a, a DC to DC converter taking that uh, USB-C uh, connection and putting some power into it. Everything else is basically a resistor or a capacitor it looks like, so not too interesting. Uh, on the other side of the uh, circuit board is the socket for an SD card. It can write to the 
images here for storage for later retrieval not much interest there quite frankly just a connector let's um crack open all of the semiconductors on this side and look at those silicon dies they should be fairly interesting let's take a look at the major uh, bit of silicon uh, this should look very familiar if you're a follower of my channel uh, we see a lot of these chips where there is a rf section nestled down here complete wi-fi section will have the uh, face lock loops the mixers and the ADD and DDA converters the uh, uh, silver stripes going back and forth a power distribution network uh, in here uh, a complete microprocessor of some power uh, enough RAM and a ROM program uh, sufficient to act like an endpoint so um, <laughs> imagine that only a few pennies now for this circuitry there uh, the less metalized areas would have things like the power on reset and the more analog functions if there's any on die regulation and such like that. Um, yeah, pretty modern bit of silicon. Uh, a little blurry here, but this is the um, circuit I got out of that tiny 26 megahertz oscillator. It uh, It's a tiny little die. I was hoping to get the quartz crystal. It, it seems to vanish in the bath, though, unfortunately, but. Um, uh, this uh, device here basically uh, will take a crystal and has a inverting amplifier and uh, creates a nice uh, a driver circuit on it. This is the driver down here, the FET, that creates the sort of um, signal that drives the rest of the circuitry. It might look a little more sophisticated than one it expects. You would, of course, think you only need basically an inverting amplifier to create a uh, crystal. Uh, there will be a lot of circuitry here, though, that it helps with um, startup modes and such not. Uh, final bit of circuitry is the uh, USB uh, C to uh, voltage regulator, probably 3.3. Um, the FET structure in the middle. Again, actually quite a modern bit of silicon. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the microphone. Um, it's uh, a couple pieces here. This is seems sort of a metal backing, and then there's a very flexible diaphragm here. I thought it might be a microelectronic machines and MEMS, uh, but it's probably with just a. a a little membrane and there was a voice coil uh, that got uh, dissolved in the acid when I uh, took it apart but uh, this is basically what I, I extracted from the uh, microphone. Last little bit of interest let's uh, look at the antenna. One great thing about Wi-Fi at 2.4 gigahertz uh, is the antenna is highly amenable to being just simply a trace on the circuit board uh, which obviously helps the whole cost picture. One of the reasons also I think Wi-Fi became so successful. Um, real evidence and cheapness of uh, implementation. And that is what we see in the circuit board. Um, otherwise, uh, I think, honestly, this isn't particularly a 1080p uh, camera. I think perhaps it's more of a um, VJ one. Not sure about that. Wouldn't mind other hearing for other people had for experience if they bought it. Um, the price changes all the time. I think I snapshot this price a few days ago. I noticed it changed again. Um, there is an application that comes with the program. I must say I didn't uh, complete the installation. It started asking for all sorts of things like location, one of my phone number, one of my name. I always thought if you wanted to create a national surveillance program, why not mail uh, everyone a free camera? Because <laughs> these things are really cheap. Um, and of course, they're just a gold mine of a data collection. Hmm. Maybe that's slightly black uh, thoughts there. Uh, no matter. Uh, if you like this video, I would certainly appreciate a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you on the next one.